Holy crap, Rodney! Hanging out down the streets. We did last week. What in the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah, I just completely forgot. We we we. we, we, we no, no, nah, I was legitimate. Now, yeah, here's the thing. We we have. A, is this this like new that '70s show? It's you, kind of weird. You're a big dude. fan of that '70s show. Oh, love fan that '70s show. Yes, I have. I know. Seen. Me and Rodney. It's huge, it's huge I mean, fan. It's the greatest show of all time, in my opinion. Yeah, like, Rodney may be even a huger <clears throat> fan than me, which is crazy to say. Well, I, mean, I found this. Hard, I found that '70s show like by luck when it, it it was like the beginning of the second season, so like it was still airing on TV, and I would watch it. Yeah, and then I fucking ended up falling in love with it, and dude, ever since like I've watched <sighs> that '70s show back to back. I there's probably no real number. I don't even know how I started watching it. Like, if it was on TV or if I bought the DVD. It's like everybody has their own things. For me, this is the only sitcom in the history of sitcoms that me and my family sat down to watch when it came on yeah. every week. We would watch it for dinner. I would watch, parents. we would watch like the various funny home videos. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a dampening story if I've ever heard one. That's a fun <laughs> story. Like, that is a great... Bob what Saget? Bob wow. fucking Saget, bro? Wow. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, America's Home fun- Funniest Video. That's, so, it's weird how they're like, that has no impact That's just now. the one I remember because I would... Just because YouTube, you just search a Vine. It's like, this is way yeah. easier. But yeah, it, that had an impact back in the day, for sure. Yeah, that 70s show, everybody seems to love it. It's a universally loved show, I feel like. Yeah. And then they made the announcement... Uh, well, first of all, they did that 80s show. I can't stay. Fine. And that lasted, I don't even know if it was a few episodes or whatever, but it got canceled. Yeah. It Dude, was I don't trash. even remember watching it. And it's crazy if you look back, it's Dennis Reynolds from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia in the show. Is it really? Yes. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. It blows my mind. I've only watched it once, and that's all I can... It's one of those great phenomenons where, like, you watch it, you're not aware of who the actor is yet, and mm, then you go I later, and then you come back, and you're like, what the fuck, you're in? Yeah. yeah, one of those. Uh, so then I heard that 90s show was coming out, and I was like... Sheesh. Hesitant. Sheesh. Excited, uh, but hesitant. I, the excitement was coming from the fact that... Off rip, Kurt Wood Smith and Deborah Joe Rupp were coming back as Red and Kitty. Come yeah. on. That, that's like 100%. Like, I was like, okay, that's exciting. Immediately. And then I find out that it's about Eric's daughter going to stay with them for the summer. And I'm like, okay, so they're keeping Eric involved. But then I find out the daughter's name is Leia, Perfect. which is Star Wars, yeah. you know, and fucking Eric is like, dude. So, like, it all was like a full circle, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm like, okay, so this happy. might be, yeah, this might be good. So, what about the trailers, though? The trailer comes out, I hated it. I hated the trailer because I did not, I was just not a fan. Like, it felt very Disney. And I was, not. yes, yeah, like a very stupid half house or what's it called? Full house bullshit. So but, grand uh, tradition. Yeah, dude, it, it, uh, the trailer was I, dude, it, scares. I, the show came out, dude, and it shined bright. You like the show? I, I really enjoyed it, dude. I, I'm surprised too, dude. I'm gonna go there with you. <laughs> yeah, I actually dude. like it. I did. I do because I, I was all right. So I watched the first episode. I was very skeptical in the first yeah. episode. And the then, kids took a while to grow on me. Well, one of them didn't grow on me, but that's we'll get there. Oh, I already know that one is. Yeah, <laughs> we all know who that one is. But uh, <laughs> I bet. I so like yeah, so kid. like the first episode, you know, the nostalgia was there. So you had Eric oh, and yeah, Donna, which dude. Donna looked like shit, by the way. Is that like a wig? I did not what? know. The plastic surgery she's done to her face. Oh, no. I don't know if it's the she wig. She was so beautiful, the... too. Why, why? Dude, she yeah. looked, she's really skinny, too. Yes, she didn't no, have the super thickness. Skinny now. Damn. Here, I'll show you a picture. But, uh, but yeah, so the episode came through, and Red and Kitty, dude, off rip dancing in the kitchen like that. I was just like, yeah. You cried a yeah, I, I cried, I cried. I didn't watch another episode for about a week. How many episodes are there? Eight or that's it. Ten. 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 Must not be that good. So I watched that first episode, <laughs> and I didn't watch another episode for like almost a week because I was so scared that of what was downhill. From yeah, there. what was to come? I just let it keep rolling. And, and well, eventually... Jamie ended up watching it without me, so I was like, "Fuck!" All right, so I fucking dude, I burned it from two all the way to ten, dude. Like I yeah. fucking the thirty minute episodes. Yeah. Yeah, not twenty something, thirty. Yeah, it's crazy. I watched five and five on yeah. two separate nights. I wanted to go further with it the first night, but like I had to go to sleep at work in the morning, or I would have. 
Yeah. So, but we get the cameos, you know, the first episode, which I was a little first upset episode, that the first episode was... knocked out all the cameos at once. I wish it would have been a little more spread out. Yeah. They still had good. They, they did. did. They, they had did a good with certain spread of cameos, cameos. Yeah. But when you're thinking about Eric. With the mains. Like, yeah. And then what they did this about the hide situation. What did they do? Off. This is I don't spoiler-ish. Know. When we're talking about we'll say cameos. this whole episode's about to be spoiler from yeah, now on. So out. like you, it's you all only, spoilers. You only get Kelso and fucking Jackie and Eric, Eric in the first episode. And Donna. No, Donna comes back. No, she's in the first episode now. I know. I'm talking about like they're oh, talking about the cameos from, from are the Don- first episode. No, oh, you're saying yeah, the, yeah. The, they come yeah, dude. Out the cameos. Those are the, really? we only get them yeah, in the first. Eric, episode. Those are the main ones that you want to see. Like, yeah, Eric. So who who doesn't come back? Fucking Danny Masterson and Hyde, what and it's happened? fucking bullshit because of all that rape I know, accusations. But how did they in the do worst in way the possible? That's what I heard. In the worst way possible, they went not. to a flashback on the last episode, mind you. Oh. They went to a flashback while in the basement, or were they upstairs at this one? I don't know. You, they did a flashback. You kind of got me right now. I'm like, hold on, what? The flash flash back and it's when they're in a circle and they're like it's a nostalgic moment they're talking about i forgot what the subject are they old talking about it though no this is what this is a clip it's a legitimate yeah. clip from that 70s show brought the into old, it yeah I remember and they that. cut out hot's part completely yeah. like he wasn't in the circle at all you didn't see him you didn't hear him nobody said anything to so they're him they're like making about. a hard statement like dude yeah we're done with this guy you pretty know? yeah it's bullshit for real like they should have gave I don't know everything that's going on, but yeah, like that's a because he's in a part of the Scientology shit that he's just like, and he's like some hardcore rapist now, supposedly. Uh, It's the same shit that happened to Franco and all them fucking. Just like got kicked off a ranch, too. The ranch. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was same accusations. Got him kicked off. Yeah, that's what got him. He's been rolling with these for so long, which obviously, if he did the shit, then fuck him. But I, mean, I mean, he's uh, not. Like, he still hasn't been proven guilty to my right. Mind. Exactly. Shots, he had a so mistrial, weird. a straight up mistrial, and they're taking him back to court. Well, still, he's not one of the main ones I'd want to see like reoccur. Oh, absolutely. Often. No, gotta see Hyde. I have to see Hyde. Dude. I know, like, but not. That's a tough one because you don't he, get his the real are Kelso his without are Hyde. Yeah. yeah, them together in a few yeah. scenes would have done it. That's My one eye. scene, even. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hyde comes... Even if they just said something stupid, like, he's in prison. That that's makes what sense. I heard they were going to say. And that's and fine. I would have got in that. Real <laughs> <life>. <laughs> 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 so, like, <laughs> they do interviews with him at the prison. Dude, yeah, that... I don't know, but... Other than that, and the Chinese kid. You didn't like Ozzy. Hated him. See? Hated him. I was weird about Ozzy at first. The initial reaction for me, it was like, I really liked him in like the first couple episodes. He had, he was like that quick, like diss kind of character. Yeah, but he was always miserable. He was in, I hated that. he was in and he was out. He was like, I just clowned on you and then I'm out. And then they started giving him too much. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> I just popped my back like eight different spots. Felt so good. Yeah. Don't crack it too hard though. We know you're back. Yeah. <laughs> but then they start giving him too much like. Like too much dialogue, and I'm like, I kind of like him more in like quick quips. But as it went on, Ozzy, honestly, like he's one of the more solid ones to me. That's what Jamie Jamie didn't like him at first, and she ended up coming around to him. I will he's say there was a, one scene he's hit or miss for everybody. I'm seeing though. Oh really? Yeah, like everybody. Like I don't know if you're in the that '70s show group or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's like a cult group or whatever. You're not in this. No, I didn't know anything about. <laughs> yeah, that. you need to get into that. Yeah, I do. yeah but uh. Everybody, it was like half people, like a lot of people are doing the whole just like, oh, he's fucking gay. That like doesn't the, matter though. Those weird motherfuckers. That's what I was getting to that. is my, one of my, in my opinion, one of the most emotional time. scenes in the show was when he came out to Kitty. Yeah. When he came out to Kitty, I was like, oh my God, this is so emotional right now. Cause she was just like, oh, I don't care. And it's just yeah. like, Dude, Kitty's so the kiddies. best. It's, it's so Kitty. Yeah. Kitty's the best. Great. She Dead. is, unless hey. you watch the show nonstop, and then she pisses you the fuck off. Yeah, you're like, I don't want to see her like move Dude, next. Some of the things she does and says, I'm just man. like, shut the fuck up. Did Red? I can never. Uh, Red's awesome. Did Red dude. say a uh, something up the ass oh, joke? Plenty of times. Oh yeah, yeah, put in the ass a few. And times. that's what so, fucked me up with Red. At first, I was like, yeah, he's got moments where he seems like Red, but I'm like, man, this is not fully Red. No. And you, then it hit me, and I was like, is this like a thing where he's not nailing it? At first, I was like, he's yeah, not nailing it, and older. then. 
a few minutes went by and I was like, well, what if he's just, you know, he's older and that's what it is. And as I thought that literally in like the next episode, when he's talking about all the kids are coming back, Kitty's like, I miss fired up red. And I'm like, okay, yes, it's a transition type thing. Just like Fez. Like a lot of people were saying Fez wasn't the same. Dude, I liked the new Fez. But that seems like a natural transition for like Fez to me. Yeah. It took me a second to get because you could tell that he had to bring that accent back. Oh, he brought it back? Yeah. So like at first, Man. like it was kind of really cringe. Like, cause he, he comes back in a commercial at first. Like this is the first time you see Fez yeah, in a commercial. Sure. He's like, he's like me, me or there over there. But in that Fez <laughs> voice and he's like trying to get with it and then he does. But dude, yeah. And then Lori, yeah. is that a replacement? Is that what she is? That blonde know. bitch next door? I guess it's got to like be. She's like the Lori. She like the bimbo blonde. With big tits are they not even? Uh, unless I missed some, they didn't even address Lori at all. No, they really. I think so that's, that's what weird. that lady was, was like a, like a, a what's it called? A lot of people were thinking that was Lori, but like the other actress that played Lori oh, no. grown up. No, There's no. a lot of people saying that, and I. I didn't, I I didn't she, even remember what I she looked she's like. she's dead. No, the original dead. Lori's dead. She yeah. is dead. Lisa Robin yeah. Kelly. Yeah. They brought on an actress for like a season or something. Uh, and then two. So there was three? Is it two? two? Two or three seasons, yeah. I don't think it was three. I don't think it was that long. I well, no, Lori left off. after four, I think. Or th- yeah, but then she three. just kind of disappeared for like a season, I right. think. And then they brought her. I'm pretty sure they brought her back for like one season, and then she just was in and out. Or maybe she was that whole season, and then maybe she was like a couple episodes here and there. And like, well, we're we rewatching you. that 70 show at the house. So. I can't remember. I mean, as much as I love the show, I can't remember exacts. But uh, it's it's crazy. We get the, to see Bob. Yeah, Bob. Oh, Bob. Hey there, hi right there. Oh, there. Yeah, Bob, Bob here. Dude, dude, Bob was awesome in this, dude. And he's he's getting old. He looks you, old. Yeah. Shit. And if you notice, if you watch, I don't know if you picked it up the first time, but like if you rewatch it, watch Red. Like there's certain scenes with Red where you can see him kind of like holding himself up against yeah, shit. Yeah, he's you know even got a fucking, he's got a cane in a couple scenes even. Does he? Yeah. I didn't even notice the cane. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he made the cane an ass joke about the cane, didn't he? He's yeah. like something about the cane. What if they there. censored it for the younger viewers? They the didn't. Eric he even was saying butt. ass. There were some yeah, good my, little jokes that were put like up your above butt. your head. Yeah, but like it, like red, red changes the butt jokes. Um, one thing I real like if we were to talk about like older casts that didn't miss a beat though i don't think kitty missed a beat not from once the jump and leo didn't miss leo a beat was a, amazing dude, I mean, amazing he's been playing the same character dude since leo <laughs> fucking it's the only nailed. character he'll ever play when they dude. fucking brought he's not the, playing a character it's, <laughs> yeah. it's just <laughs> when they brought the fucking tape back to his place or they were trying to get the tape back and he's like what are you talking about man he's like, like i've been oh more, yeah the tape He's like, I've been watching the real world, man. Yeah. Like, it makes you wonder. <laughs> like, if that's the real world, then what's all this? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what I mean? That's and then finally, they're joke. like, what about the tape? They're like, oh, you need that tape, man? And then he goes f- back and gets yeah, it. Yeah, I forgot and- what she said to get him to actually give them the tape, but it was so clever. Yeah, dude. and then, like, they put on the tape, and he's, like, brushing his hair. He's like, what's up? Man? Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> right. It was a movie it they were trying to get from him, and he was like, yeah, you can add this movie back. And they put it in, Yeah. and it's the movie starts for, like, a split second, and then it's Leo <laughs> going... He's brushing his hair. Hey, man. You know, <laughs> he's just like, being, what's going on? He's like, this is my audition for the world. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. His what audition was. tape. Yeah, it's funny. Damn. He's like, uh, yeah, that who was else is good there? Shit. Let's see. Ooh, Fenton and Fez. We yeah, got another I'll, back and I'll forth of Fenton that. and Fez. Oh, dude, I, I, honestly, I'd forgot about that since that episode, and I've talked about it a couple times, and I forgot all about it. I love Fenton, dude. Fenton's I, even that 70s funny. show, I loved him. Dude, he was awesome. Back to back. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should go around. Dude, however they fucking do it. This shit's so fucking He's awesome. got the Fabio hair. But they have their little, they have one of their little back and forths in the new one. Dude, yeah. it's so funny. It's so good. It's she- you're mate, you're getting, you are getting me excited to watch it, actually. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. At first, it's like, uh, it, Dude, 30 minutes. It 10, grows on you. 10 episodes, 30 minutes. Yeah. That's yeah, a, easy. Five hours. That's a... You're talking about kids, too. The kids? Well, how are we feeling about the kids here? Okay. Now, see, Ozzy, I, he's hit or miss, but Ozzy, at the end of the day, I ended up really liking. 
And then you got Kelso and basically Kelso number two. You got the actual bloodline Kelso and then the kid that's portrayed like Kelso. Yeah, there's real no. I think they had good says chemistry. Where he's from or who he's from. He's like the I fatter guess, Kelso. The yeah. kid, well, he's the brother to the one sister. That's in the first episode. That's right. The one. Uh, he's the brother to, to the, black, um, the, the, the darker chick. chick, yeah. the chick. She, now she, all the kids do good, but like the darker, I guess she, she's black, blackish mix, something. She was good. Like she's good as like an actress, but anytime she had to like portray comedy where it was like all on her, I thought she kind of failed. So that's like a weird one for me. But uh, I think out of the kids, I really enjoyed, uh, if I had to say, them two the most. Like, they had a pretty good chemistry, I feel like, they were building. Where it was basically like watching two Kelsos at times. Like, when they were doing the vagina hands thing. Oh and he was just like, he's like, oh, my God. He's like, make you feel better? He's like, yeah. He's like, now, it's like, now I'm sad. Yeah. It's like, now he's like right back to being sad. And I, then you had fucked up jokes kind of in a weird way, too, where, like, they're trying to get the hot tub. She's like, why don't you try it out? And it's like a fucking grandma trying to basically fuck two kids in high school. So, like, that was kind of iffy. When was, when was that? Y'all remember that episode? Who, who Dealing with which kids? The Kelso kids. I'm just going to call them the Kelso <clears throat> kids. They fucking were go- going to get a hot tub. I was like, well, don't you want to try it out first? And then, like, the grandma lady that was selling it was in the hot tub. And it was like, whose feet is that? And it's like, oh, I love this game. Oh, no, no, I, did, I missed that whole segment. Damn, you missed that whole thing. But at the same time, it also don't go there, though, because let's be fucking honest. If Red was Red, he would have been fucking calling Ozzy, like, I killed people like you back yeah, in Korea. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, so there's levels to this shit, but there also is little jokes where it's like, eh. So... They, do, they don't make it completely PG, which is... No, great. no, 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 it's absolutely, like... PG thirteen, like almost heavy PG thirteen. And I, I actually got an assessment real quick. It is kind of weird though, because all these kids, as a future heads up, you can probably tell from the trailer, they all are like the ages they're playing, which is weird. Because they always yeah. like maybe by like a, a year or two, maybe different. Usually they always cast, you know, them older. That 70s show, perfect example. You know, like how old were Except they? Except for Jack. You're just like, oh my yeah. god, like how old are they? But like the oldest kid is a uh, Kelso son, I think. I looked it up and he was 17. Like Ozzy is 13 years old, I think. So when you're looking at this and you're watching them like make out and do shit like that, it's yeah. like whereas before you're like they're 14, it's like, yeah, but I know the actors are 20, but you're like, these is like a couple 14 year olds just making out and I'm watching it like over and over again. I think you probably know the scene I'm talking That's, about. Yeah. It was kind of strange. Kind of crazy. Kelso too. Yeah, yeah that was weird, a weird man. scene. It was kind of weird. Uh, I didn't enjoy that that much, but like it made sense with the script. But I was like, oh, I don't know. I feel like this. Can you do that? Oh, <laughs> well, there's a there's a fucking lawsuit going on right now for Romeo and Juliet from it 1968. Is, uh, what? They're yeah, dead. Because uh <laughs> the two actors the actors and actress that played those characters were fourteen at the time and that there's nude scenes in the movie of them. And now they're like all of a sudden they're like, We were pushed to do it. We were pushed to be <laughs> naked, you fucking idiots. But anyway, <laughs> so fucking idiots. Like sixty hours. Leia was probably my favorite kid. It's between Leia it's a toss up cool of shit. Leia and Kelso number two. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, Leia dude was Kelsey like number two is the fatter Kelso. Yeah, yeah. Leia Leia was hitting on all cylinders, bro. Like I could see Kel or Eric in her, and I could see Donna in her so many yeah. different times. She, she nailed it. Yeah, slaughtered it. Uh, I don't know. I kind of get what you're saying. It. I feel like she maybe tried the the Hyde chick. I feel like she tried maybe a little too hard to live up to Hyde. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't working as well. I still liked her character. Yeah, she's but, a good character. Yeah. But, when, but, like, for instance, like, when all the comedy in that one scene with her and, like, the Chinese girl, it was like, it's all on y'all. Like, I felt, I was like, They couldn't don't, carry don't it. Don't leave yeah. them on this island right now. It's not working at all. I forget what they're even doing because it was that not memorable. But I remember it was them two together, and I was like, Ugh. Ah, we don't get to see him, but we get to see Pastor Dave. 
Well, we get to <laughs> Pastor Dave in the adult video store mm-hmm. when Kitty Kitty was going uh, in a blockbuster or something, and yeah. there's like the adult video in the oh, yeah. back of it. And she she goes, uh, "What's back here?" And she walks back. Oh, hey, Pastor Dave! Mm-hmm. You're just hearing it. You just see her walk in, but then the camera stays outside. Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, "Hey!" And then you just see her walking out, and she's like, "That is not holy." And <laughs> fucking like walks out of the adult section. Okay. So Pastor Dave was mentioned in it. Um, trying to think of. There was no uh, Casey Kelso uh, was not mentioned. No. Not, the situation was mentioned by Donna, mm-hmm. how she dated a Kelso brother, <gasps> but she didn't yeah. say Casey's name. Uh, I'm trying to think of the them Kelsos, man. There's something else. Dude, overall it was great. I I really enjoyed it. when it was off, dude. I was like, dude, I want to run this back. Like I just want to rewatch it. Rate it. What about uh, the ending, real quick though? That kind of left us with the cliffhanger where you kind of really want to know what's going to go down. Oh, Kelso she, oh number dude, two. I don't know if I like that, though. I don't, I don't know, know either. Why it, they came out, to, it came out of nowhere. Well, that's the thing is it came out of nowhere, and Kelso number two and old girl are like, dude, like, they're a great couple. And they, they're, like, always happy. They work with each other. Like, everything is smooth with them. And then all of a sudden, I'm not going to spoil it for you because I don't want you. Please don't. At least I haven't heard any you. spoilers yet. So, so but there, there's something that happens on the very last episode where it's okay. like, come on, Perfect. Dude. Narrow it down. So, <laughs> One minute. <laughs> when does episodes. it happen? <laughs> you got 10 episodes to find it. Remember yeah. the time I was running through that 70s show again? He almost guessed the exact episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. It just it was like a year, a year and a half ago. And he's like... Like, uh, wasn't he see, only like two episodes off? He was, it was like it's like season six, 12 minutes and 38 <laughs> seconds. It was like season six, 12 minutes and like 20 seconds or some shit on like the same episode. I don't yeah, know, dude, I got really I weird. got within like I don't know if it was minutes. that exact, but it, if it wasn't, it was pretty close where it was like, really, bro? What it the was fuck? either within 30 minutes or two yeah. episodes. So if I were to have to score this first season of that 90s show. Somewhere in there. I would give it, because that 70s show is a solid 10 to me. Mm-hmm. And even even with the final season with old fuckface Randy. Oh, can't man, stand like Randy. that fucker, dude. Can't wait till he comes back season two. Oh. I, don't, I don't hate Randy. He's the main he character in season He tried two. way too hard to be three different characters, bro. It was, like, it was awful. Like might be a strong word, but I, I, I stick up for Randy. But uh, I, I'll i give this like an 8-7. For real. Damn, like the first dude. season, I'll give it an 8-7. Just because like the nostalgia was there. It's the like characters the were there. Number two favorite show of all time. No. But uh, it, dude, I just, I cannot believe how how impressed I am with how well they did with it. You know, after the trailer though, the that, trailer. I couldn't believe. Yeah, I almost That's didn't watch fuck. it because of the trailer. It wasn't even just the trailer. It was the trailer and the first episode, and I was like, I'm really nervous. And then out of nowhere, like I was like, I'm just gonna trudge through this. I was like, I'm coming around to this. Yeah, and then Where you find yourself laughing, and then you find yourself yeah, like, it's next, like, what the next fuck episode? is going on? What would you? Damn, that's high as fuck. And you got to be high as fuck for that score. Um, <laughs> now I'm just playing. Uh, uh, what, what well, because eight five and higher is a great to me. Yeah, Yours well, is eight. Well, what do you What do you think I'm gonna get? It? I think you liked it more than I did. Yeah, I think you did. I think you. I think you had some issues. I think. Oh my god. I don't know. I'd say a nine. I'd sit right at the nine. Eight four. I'm going to go with 7.8, just for now. Respectable. Is it, though? It's Yeah, yeah it is. It's really good. Second watch, it could go lower, it can go higher. It's really good. I'm surprised yeah. at how good Gosh. it is. But I'm also trying to fucking be that guy that's just like... I need to watch it. Am I just like a victim of like how low my expectations are? And then I got to think, like, I want to give it such a high score, but I'm just like, am I that sold on the kids yet? Like, they're okay. They're fine. Like, I went from thinking they, I knew when I was going in the show, I'm like, they're god awful. It's going to take the legacy cast. So for me to be like, you know, they're fine. I had this dopamine type of high. But are they really fine? Like, let me see another season first. Yeah. And then even the legacy cast, I'm like, they're not there every moment. Like if that seventy shows a ten, like how can I give it that high of a score? Like that close? It's they got to bring season back. 
season two back to Red and Kitty's. It's, for me, it's like it felt great, like bare minimum great, but great, like an eight out of ten. But I feel like I got to temper it a little bit and just give it that. I like, should probably do the same, but I'm really good. Eight seven because eight five is uh, great to me. No, it it was good though. It's it's surprise. Definitely it's a surprising watching. surprising show for me.